Hey everyone, so this is 1.3. Um, it's a question called URLify. So what we're going to do here is we're going to write a method that's going to replace all the spaces in our string with percent two zero. So this space here, we'll just write percent two zero in it. And what we're supposed to also assume is that the string that's being passed to our method here has a length that has enough sufficient like extra characters at the end of it to hold these additional characters. And that's because if we're replacing a space which has a character length of just one with three characters, percent two zero, there wouldn't be enough kind of space to hold it. So that's what this extra space here is at the end, is to account for the extra two additional characters there. And then we're also being passed into our method, um, in this case 22, and that's the true length of the string. So that's from here to here and that would be 22 characters in this test case. So, and I also just wrote a quick display method um, that has nothing to do with it, just so we can see our results. So you can just ignore that. So to solve this problem, we first need to figure out what is the number of white spaces in our string. So we do that just by iterating through our um, character array that's being passed to us. That is just a little note she provides that if we're using Java, since she wants to solve this problem in place, um, we just use a character array instead of a string. So that's why I'm using a void function. We don't have to return anything. We're just modifying the array that's passed to us. So i equals zero, and then while i is less than the actual length, and then we just do i plus plus, and so we're just iterating through the true length of the array. We only want to count the spaces from here to here. We don't want to count the extra spaces that's provided to us. So then if our character array at i is a space, we want to just increment our white space count. And so the trickiest part about this algorithm is Often when you're dealing with a string problem, you want to think about how you want to do it backwards. And in this case, that's really useful because we have all of these extra spaces at the end. And so what we're going to actually do is kind of shift these letters one at a time forwards. And so that we can kind of make use of this extra space. And it's not a tricky thing. Like you don't just kind of grasp that answer um, right away. You kind of have to think of the problem different um, ways of solving it. And in this case, since you have those extra spaces, there's a lot of value with starting your pointers at the end of the string. And so we're actually going to be using two pointers in this case. It's called the two pointer approach. And our first pointer is going to start at the very end of the entire string. And then the second pointer is going to start at the end of the true length of the string. And so we're going to first um, figure out the length of the entire string, because at this point, we only know the length from here to here. So we're going to have a backwards pointer. This will be an integer. And it will be equal to the actual length plus the number of white spaces that we just counted times 2, because we know that this space here is essentially the number of white spaces provided to us plus times two because there's an additional two characters that we're going to have to find room for. And so we're going to iterate through this string backwards and we're going to start with just the letter i again and we're going to set it to the actual length minus one which once again will be right here at the letter e and then we're going to do, well, i is greater than or equal to zero, and we're decrementing by one each time. And so if we check if it's a white space, so if our character array at i is a white space, then we'll enter this clause here. And here is where we're gonna replace that space with uh, percent two zero. So our character array and since we're actually going backwards into our string, so we're going to be going from E 
and then we're going to set E here. And then we're going to go M and set, you know, M here. And then when we encounter a space, which is this clause here, we're going to go, oh, we encountered a space. So we're kind of filling it from the backwards in. So then we do zero to, you know, percent. Right? So just go backwards. So this will be at minus one. And we're going to set it equal to the character A. Um, oh, no, we set it equal to zero for percent to zero and then we're essentially just doing this two more times so three and two and then two and percent because we're filling it from the backwards in and now we just decrement our pointer three times because we just filled up three spaces if it's a space but otherwise if it's not a space we're just going to take our array, that backwards pointer, and we're just going to fill it at i. Right? And so that's just this clause here where this is in a space, so all we're going to do is take that e and put it here, take that m and put it here, and when it's a space, that's when we enter this clause and we do 0, 2 percent. Right? Let's get rid of those. And now we just want to decrement our backwards pointer by one here. Great, so let's give that a shot. And here we are. So Carter McLennan is me, and that looks about right. So all our spaces have now been replaced with percent to zero. Now the time complexity for this is just O of N because we're just iterating through the length of the array once, or n, n times, we're, we're iterating n times, which is the length of the array, and then our space complexity is O of 1 because we're doing this operation in place, you know, we're using a void function and we're just modifying the character array that's passed to us. So I hope this helped. Follow for more.